what is the simplest way to understand love a lot of times we feel that oh i have to be in a certain way or a certain degree in order to feel validated and loved by this person to which that's love no that's condition love is like holistic package it's like a huge umbrella jiske andar bahut sari cheeze aa jati hai when we go out on a date when anybody goes out on a date you don't want to be judged but you are also constantly evaluating and judging the other person yeah. let me find a perfect partner perfect partner perfect partner perfect love there's no such thing as perfect love when you meet someone you're also meeting that person's past you're also meeting that person's background you're also meeting that person's experiences exposure uh the traumas that the person is carrying in his or her life or in his or her like being everything ki chalo inka routine nahi allow kar raha hai to ye bhi chalega chalo abhi ye compatibility nahi ho raha hai to ye bhi chalega chalo abhi ye evening person hai main morning ko to hamara ko common ground nahi mil raha hai to ye bhi chalega ye karte 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 aap sath mein karoge kya phir somewhere it's important to follow the path of स्लो बर्निंग लव एक रिलेशनशिप के बीच में एक पावर डायनेमिक्स होता है कपल का और आपको हमेशा लगता है कि वो थोड़ा मेरे फेवर में ही ट्विक करना चाहिए आई शुड बी दन इधर कॉन्शियसली और सबकॉन्शियसली यू वॉन्ट टू लीड चीटिंग कुड बी एज सिंपल एज इवन इफ यूर करेंटली विद सम and you just texting your ex how does one realize what is their role in whatever wrong is happening in the relationship no one understands your relationship as much as you do Welcome to the Journey Within podcast with me Shobha Rana. This is a podcast where we deep dive into the personal growth journeys of our guest through the experiences that they have lived, through the life that they have lived, the insights that they have to share. We try to build an understanding of our perspective about life. Hum life ke bare mein kya sochte hain, kyun sochte hain, wo soch kaise banti hai, how we process our thoughts, feelings, emotions and events in our life, how we understand the inner world and the outer world and the dynamics between these two worlds. This is something that we try to decode through this podcast called The Journey Within. In today's episode, we are trying to decode love for all of you. What is love? How it happens? How do relationships hit difficult times and how to overcome those times? Uh, how to balance effective communication, navigate through difficult partnerships, cheating partners, narcissistic behaviors, toxic patterns, uh, when to call quits, when to break up. All of this conversation is happening today on the episode with our guest Ekta Dikshit who is a mental health professional and a relationship coach please welcome Ekta Dikshit to the journey within podcast today we have with us uh, a mental health professional and relationship coach to decode love for us please welcome Ekta Dikshit to the journey within podcast hi shobha thank hi you Ekta. for having me Uh, so good to see you here in person, and uh, we've had a long chat already before this podcast. I feel we've already recorded like two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think सिर्फ इतना है कि उस वक्त पे हमारे पास कैमरास नहीं थे. Exactly. And I think somewhere we should have had those hidden cameras because उसमें सा उसमें बहुत ज़्यादा I think value था. We tried uh, to decode relationships, love. Uh, so let's start at love. That is the very basis of our existence. That is one of the most basic needs that we have as a human being. Mm. What is love? What is the simplest way to understand? and love uh a lot of people call, often ask me what is love but then love is very subjective agar hum love ki baat kare it differs from person to person for someone uh we often basically associate love with with intimate relationships but we don't realize that love is something that you do with your parents with your family with um with even that that plant in your house yeah with that dog in your house or any pet basically and i feel that love को हमने इस तरह से वी कॉन्कॉक्टेड द होल थिंग सेइंग दैट लव हैज टू बी वेयर यू आर कंपैटिबल विद ईच अदर यू आर दिस यू आर दैट यू आर लाइक मैचिंग टेन डिफरेंट लिस्ट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड दैट्स व्हाट लव इज बट लव इन सिंपल फॉर्म सिंपली मींस इट्स एन इमोशन दैट वी ऑल फेस वी ऑल एक्सपीरियंस इट्स अ स्टेट ऑफ एक्सटेसी इट्स अ स्टेट वेयर यू फील अ काइंड ऑफ और अ सेंस ऑफ बिलोंगिंग टुवर्ड्स दैट पर्सन दैट इज लव love is where you feel home love is where you feel that you're not judging someone or you're not being judged mm-hmm. love is somewhere something that where you know that you've been accepted for who you are as a person that's love love is like holistic package it's like a huge umbrella jiske andar bahut sari cheeze aa jati hai ek ta what i'm hearing in your definition of love uh, is that it's a very internal emotion it's something that you feel from deep within from the depth of your heart now in today's time when our idea about 
everything is so external there is so much comparison our idea of love our perception of love the nuanced uh, you know details of love everything is what we are borrowing from the outside you know how love love looks for other people that is how it should look for me how do we understand that we are really in love i think if you're in a state where you can be yourself where you don't feel where you have to meet certain criteria to be loved a lot of times we feel that oh i have to be in a certain way or a certain degree in order to feel validated and loved by this person to which that's love no that's condition it's just that you are trying to cater to the person's conditions that's not love when i say love is unconditional even that is a condition let's just accept the fact yeah there's no such thing as unconditional love um because the un- love being un- unconditional is a condition in itself but where you feel you're comfortable in your own skin in your own self how you are as a being where you don't have to mask yourself or where this you know have this kind of a wall and show something which matches the person that's not love and this is what people are doing today if i let's say if i meet someone um and i go for the first date right when i go on a first date the first thing that happens is i tell the person what i like what i don't like uh this is what i prefer this is what i don't prefer i tell everything about myself and then you notice that the person if that person likes you will continue to do things that you like right in order to win you and this is what happens because there's a chase involved correct so what happens with these kind of love is where you as a person you're trying to match what person likes in order to feel compatibility in order and sometimes in the process you lose your identity that's not love so while you can be yourself you become a better version that is love ekta isn't there hypocrisy also here because i see that we all want to be accepted as who we are right. but are we really ready to accept other people as they are uh, when we go out on a date when anybody goes out on a date you don't want to be judged but you're also constantly evaluating and judging the other person yeah. so how does one find a healthy balance because of course you have to take into certain criteria in account you know like you said that unconditional is okay um, it, it's a very fanciful and romantic romantic concept mm-hmm. but uh, there are certain you know uh, Uh, certain preferences and likes and dislikes that you have and that you will evaluate mm-hmm. so how does one draw a very healthy boundary between not judging the other person and discarding them bases their judgment mm-hmm. uh, analyzing or assessing maybe on a deeper level on yeah. a, on a more uh, i would say spiritual level or something yeah. like that it's very simple when you meet someone obviously you do have certain criteria and all of us have it let's accept right. this while believing that this is how it has to be aapko ye pata hona chahiye ki when i meet someone of course this person will come from a very different space altogether this person will have his or her own baggage because no matter how hard you try you have to people don't understand when you meet someone you're also meeting that person's past you're also meeting that person's background you're also meeting that person's experiences exposure uh, the traumas that the person is carrying in his or her life or in his or her like being or self you have to understand this person is a complete different person altogether different from who you are so when you accept this distinction ki acha ye different hone wala hai and if the person doesn't match you completely or you feel acha compatible nahi hai that doesn't mean that you be outright and you throw the person away you simply respectfully learn to set boundaries by a of course clearly communicating is to maybe i don't think we match on that level mm-hmm. right of course we all want to be accepted and loved without conditions without judgments right. but also at the same time you have to be empathetic towards that person mm-hmm. ki acha ye insaan alag hai mujhse and it's okay for the person to be different right but agar ye insaan kahin na kahin 75% bhi mere life se match kha raha hai na then you have to learn to take a punt on that person what we do is नहीं जब तक ये इंसान 100% परसेंट मैच नहीं करता है लेट मी नॉट डू इट एंड दैट्स वाई वी गेट इन टू दिस होल स्पेस ऑफ लेट मी फाइंड अ परफेक्ट पार्टनर परफेक्ट पार्टनर परफेक्ट पार्टनर परफेक्ट लव दस नो सच थिंग एज परफेक्ट लव 
only thing is when you see someone, you find someone who's even 75% matching or 70% matching you because there will always be differences. So, A, up kahin na kahin accept karo, insaan alag hoga, respectfully boundaries draw karo. Dekho, jab aap supermarket jate ho, ab aap ko kharidna hai peanut butter, but aap dekh rahe ho ki yahan pe 10 brands hai. अब इसमें से मुझे कौन सी अच्छी लगेगी कैसे पता चलेगा जब तक आप ट्राई नहीं करोगे तब तक नहीं पता चलेगा एंड समटाइम्स वी डू गेट इनटू दिस पैराडॉक्स ऑफ चॉइसेस आल्सो मुझे लगता है मेरे पास बहुत सारी चॉइसेस व्हिच मींस आई डू हैव दिस दिस आई थिंक प्रिविलेज ऑफ चूजिंग व्हाटएवर आई वांट बट समटाइम्स इन दिस होल गैमेट ऑफ हैविंग लॉट ऑफ चॉइसेस यू एंड अप नॉट नोइंग व्हाट टू चूज वेल that is what i was coming to as my next conversation uh, ekta you know you said that you have to try multiple things to see what you like and that whole concept is coming to dating also yeah. that whole concept is coming to choosing our careers as well that we want to experiment with multiple things now how healthy do you think it's it's for a person to go on this spree of exploration where does the exploration stop or where do you kind of start uh, you know seeing the room for your own personal improvement or expansion of something within yourself mm. not just expecting from the outside world but also look within and see what am i not able to inherently accept or what am i rejecting mm. where do i need to learn my lessons and and maybe stop my exploration or something like that you have to be cognizant of the fact ki kahin na kahin of course i will experience a lot of differences with this person maybe initially aap kahin na kahin match kha rahe ho with this person theek hai kahin na kahin match we are matching our uh, likes dislikes the way we operate in life the way we how disciplined we are the food choices this that everything but later of course there are going to be some diversion jahan pe a person will start evolving and you will have your own journey to us moment pe it is extremely imperative for you to know Okay, when I meet someone and going back to it, even if you see that some degree of association that you can have or maybe you're so comfortable with this person that you are able to understand who this person is, this person understands you and creates this comfort zone with each other, then you're definitely supposed to take the bet. So, at time time, you're supposed to stop the exploration because up, even if, let's suppose, up, level 1 pe ho so you want to go on level 2 and level 3 and level 4 because this is what our life is all about you want to keep exploring a lot of different avenues or different people or you want to keep exploring different levels also of course aap agar yahan pe you have like the best person right now suddenly when you move out ab ek ek machli like ek fish jab hi pond se nikal kar ke jab wo samundar mein jati hai to usko bahut sari alag alag varieties dikh jati hai चलो पॉन्ड से निकल निकाल करके आप उसको एक लेक में डाल दो एक रिवर में डाल दो तो थोड़ी अलग दिखेगी रिवर से निकाल दो उसको ओशन में डाल दो तो और थोड़ी दिखेंगे तो उसी तरह से जब आप एक्सप्लोरेशन के एक एक यू नो पाथ पे जाते हो तो यू विल ऑलवेज मीट न्यू पीपल यू विल ऑलवेज मीट न्यू वेरियस फ्लेवर्स ऑफ यू नो पीपल कम विथ तो द थिंग इज कि अगर आप ये सोचो कि ओ वॉट इफ आई चूज वनीला बिकॉज I like the I I like vanilla but also at the same time the back of your head you're like but what if suddenly you taste butterscotch and you like but this tastes better yeah and then when you have butterscotch and you're like yeah but the strawberry was tasting way more better so you'll always have something that's way more better so you will always be attracted to someone but also at the same time aapko pata hai ki aap attract kab hoge jab aapko lagta hai ki आपके पास फ्लेवर्स सही नहीं है जब आपको लगता है कि आपके फ्लेवर्स बहुत ब्लैंड हो गए जो आपके पास ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग है विच मीन्स अगर आपकी रिलेशनशिप अभी एट दिस पॉइंट हैज बिकम प्रिटी ब्लैंड तो यू स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन दैट व्हाई हैज इट बिकम सो ब्लैंड व्हाई डू यू थिंक दैट योर रिलेशनशिप लैक्स नॉवेल्टी और लैक्स फ्लेवर वाई there's so monotonous uh, you know ek rhythm in the relationship why it's become so stagnant start working on it jab aapko lagta hai ki yahan pe jab stagnancy aa gayi tab that's when you'll start getting lured by what's happening in and around but how do you break through this monotony in your relationship because after a while it does come right whatever you do in your jobs you feel monotony has come in 
कोई भी चीज हम थोड़े टाइम तक करते रहते हैं तो उसमें एक एक ना वो सैचुरेशन जैसा आ जाता है या फिर ऐसा लगता है ये चीज तो मैं रोज ही कर रहा हूँ तो यू स्टार्ट टेकिंग इट फॉर ग्रांटेड ऑल्सो सो हाउ डज वन ब्रेक आउट ऑफ दैट मोनोटनी एंड हाउ डज वन रिकिंडल देयर रिलेशनशिप बिकॉज इफ यू हैव टू हैव अ लॉन्ग टर्म रिलेशनशिप यू विल हैव योर फेज एज वेल वेल थिंग्स विल बिकम अ लिटिल डल एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट हाउ डू यू मूव पास दैट फेज विद द सेम पर्सन Uh, how do you ensure that happens the fact about long term relationship is that you have to make sure that you are connected w- with this other person intimately when i say intimate doesn't have to be sex always or doesn't have to be physical intimacy it simply means emotional intimacy it's about understanding who the person is so there are times when of course agar aap kisi ke sath ek lambe samay se ho तो ऑब्वियसली कहीं ना कहीं मोनोटोनस एक uh, एक मोनोटोनी हिट कर जाती है बिकॉज there is no nothing new you know how this person is going to react you know what the what the lifestyle of this person is you know what this person wants just a weekend approach hota hai you know what are the rituals you're supposed to do which is why you're supposed to keep trying new things there's something that i came across and there was a study also related to it that you and your partner if you really want to be together for a long time and you want to make sure mm. that there is always some kind of newness in it which means you have to always try new things not just together but even separately doesn't mean that oh you start you know doing things uh, separate which means acha ye alag gym mein jaye aap alag gym mein jao not like that but doing things let's say if your partner he has to go out with his bros and do things such that when he comes back he has a lot of new things to talk about to you you have to go out with your girls right so you have to learn that you two have two different lives and you not everything needs to be done together of course you need to do things together kyunki kai baar kya ho jata hai especially females she comes from a space where she wants a lot of proximity from the with you know with the person yeah. with a partner and what happens with males is they need some kind of space and ye jo differences hai na ye kai baar log samajh nahi pate and which is why there's so much of a uh, conflict there's so much of uh, you know uh, distress in a relationship there's so much of this tension in a relationship and that tension can convert into lot of different uh, you know uh, problems and it can take different shapes in relationship it could be in a form of cheating it could be in a form of uh, not having to try new things not wanting to spend time with each other so which is why you are supposed to a accept that you two Uh, of course cup a couple but you also are two different individuals and you have to do new, different things not necessarily ki aap dono different jobs pe jao wapas aao to wahi same rut you have to continue that you know that your partner is going to come back home and going to get into that aaj office mein kya hua aaj ye hua aaj wo hua this and that sometimes your partner is not in the mood for it and sometimes a partner feels after after a period of time your partner thinks yeah i did not sign up for this yeah this like i want to I, i want to call it out right now you know ekta compatibility is also a very present moment concept hmm. uh, when you are going out with somebody you see your compatibility in the present moment yeah. that what your likes are what your preferences are um, what is your need for entertainment or need for solitude or need for sex because these are the things that you kind of assess between the two of you in the names of in, in the name of compatibility hmm. right लेकिन पांच साल के बाद क्या होने वाला है बिकॉज बोथ ऑफ आर ऑन आर डिफरेंट लाइफ जर्नीज ऑल्सो एंड बोथ ऑफ आर इंडिविजुअली आर गोइंग थ्रू डिफरेंट लाइफ एक्सपीरियंसेस आप आपके जॉब पे जा रहे हो मैं मेरे जॉब पे जा रही हूँ आपके कुछ एक्सपीरियंसेस हो रहे हैं आपके कुछ तरह के फ्रेंड सर्कल बन रहे हैं आप लीडरशिप को लेकर कुछ तरह से सोचते हो करियर को लेकर कुछ तरह से सोचते हो यू नो यूर बास्किंग इन ऑल दीज डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंसिस आई एम बास्किंग इन टू समर एक्सपीरियंसिस तो हमारे दोनों का लाइफ जर्नी भी अलग अलग जा रहा है तो जो कंपेटेबिलिटी पहले थी अभी आर नीड्स आर चेंजिंग Yeah. Maybe my need for entertainment was very high when I was five years younger. Hmm. Maybe I wanted to go clubbing or dinners and everything every week. Hmm. But now my need has reduced. Right. However, my partner's needs are not evolving in the same direction. Hmm. Maybe he wants to do it more now because his job is such that he wants to unwind a little more. And same can happen for sex. Maybe whatever frequency or intensity we had before that was working for the both of us. But now, and as such, women are known to be late bloomers, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and and men are are hormonally very active in. their early age, age which is their their 20s and stuff and women are in their 30s so and that also becomes one very big big problem that i see i hear from a lot of my friends also that their need for physical intimacy also is much higher than before yeah. whereas the guys needs have kind of 
reduced down right. over the time. So I'm, I'm not just talking about physical intimacy, but also the, the need for, let's say, entertainment. Yeah. Uh, like I said, the need for solitude. Like earlier, your need for solitude was very little. You wanted to do everything together. But now to have that creativity and imagination and performance in other areas of your life, you need to have solitude as well. Mm-hmm. So how does one kind of take this compatibility together? Right. Ye compatibility hum aage bad so that is what is a is a main reason for for differences in people in fact nowadays a lot of people who have spent a lot of years together are separating are yeah, parting yeah. ways 100%. and they're saying we are no longer compatible so how do we ensure that we stay compatible as we go go in the life so first things first is to know that every single day you two are becoming different individuals you every single morning you're like a new person maybe uh, if I go back and I think about mornings. Mornings was like during my school times and my high school times and my college times. I used to wake up crying because I used to dislike mornings. Today, I've become a morning person. Now, let's suppose I started dating someone and this person was also like a not so morning person. And now as I'm, as I'm evolving and I've tasted what mornings feel like, yeah. I want to become that morning person. And if I'm imposing that on my partner, saying Ki, you have to become this and that, that's when the conflict begins. So you have to know that the way you are evolving, not necessarily your partner is also evolving in the same direction. If I feel that morning has started to give me a different feeling, not necessarily for my partner, it will. So you have to A, learn and accept that there will be a different version of you each day. And you cannot impose what really worked for you should work for the partner too. Right. So there will be differences whether it's to do with your emotional compatibility, whether it's to do with your physical compatibility. But what really matters is you have to communicate with your partner. It's not like, okay, this is what I feel. This is what you feel. You have to come to me. No, you both are at two different points. Point A, point B. And you both have to decide to go to point C. So, such that you both don't feel that one has to cross the bridge, right? So, you both have decided a common goal and you both are walking towards that common goal and it's very important to understand this. A lot of people today are making making this mistake that you do it. You don't understand that oh, you also have to start doing it. I become a morning person, you do become a morning person now. You know, in this uh, space, Ekta, when you are accepting the other person for who they are becoming, you're accepting yourself also for who you are becoming. How do you draw a clear boundaries that the relationship still stays? I know, mm-hmm. um, I'll tell you where I'm coming from. I'm coming from a space that when you increase your circle of acceptance for the other person, how far do you stretch it that the relationship is still existing? Mm-hmm. You know, when you, once you start accepting everything, that chalo, iska routine nahi allow kar raha hai, to ye bhi chalega. Chalo, abhi ye compatibility nahi ho raha, to ye bhi chalega. Right. Chalo, abhi ye evening person hai, main morning ho, to hamara ko common ground nahi mil raha, to ye bhi chalega. Ye karte karte karte, aap saath mein karoge kya phir? You shouldn't be growing apart. You should be growing up together there's a difference when you grow karyo, to you shouldn't be literally taking or get derailed completely it doesn't mean that you're supposed to completely walk on two different paths it just means ki even if you're growing even if your partner is growing it has to be parallel and somewhere ki kahi na kahi pe, aap kahi pe meet karyo. again you're growing you're meeting again which means that even if there are certain things that you are evolving uh, or maybe you're changing in you you also have to communicate this with your partner and find a midpoint where let's do things that works for both of us. So those nuanced, um, uh, you know, activities or, uh, you know, gives you a whole new feeling altogether. Yeah, and I think it's not so easy, otherwise everyone will do it easily. For this, it's an effort, lagta hai. it's a practice. You have to basically work on it every single day to create that novelty in your relationship, to create that newness in it, to basically look at it from a nuanced perspective, that we are growing both. And what happens, um, I see the biggest problem in today's relationship is, even if you both are becoming different version of you than who you were earlier, acceptance nahi aati, radical acceptance nahi aata. Ki, achha, I have to radically accept the person is changing, mm-hmm. right? But also at the same time, let me figure out how we both can work it out together by doing things that we both like. So, chahe ab dono ki individual life hai, but there are few things which are like a ritual for both of you. That's something that 
gives that fresh feeling something that you look forward to ki acha you know weekend mein we have a ritual we go out for bowling maybe we do this we do that mm-hmm. it brings that newness also uh, it gives you thrill mm-hmm. also it makes you feel ki चलो ये चीज पे काम नहीं हो रही है यहाँ पे नहीं हो रहा है तो और तो बहुत सारी चीजें सो व्हाट हैपेंस यू बोथ एक्चुअली लुक फॉरवर्ड टू दैट थिंग दैट एक्टिविटी एंड दैट गिव्स यू दैट थ्रिल दैट कीप्स यू अप इन योर रिलेशनशिप व्हाट आर द थ्री थिंग्स और थ्री प्रैक्टिसेस दैट वन मस्ट डू टू कीप द स्पार्क एंड द न्यूनेस अलाइव इन देयर रिलेशनशिप एब्सोल्युटली बेसिक समटाइम्स वी टॉक अबाउट कि कुछ अलग होना चाहिए बट एज ट्राइट एज इट मे साउंड ए continue to talk about situations that bother you sometimes people think that we can't have hard conversations if something bothered you please have a conversation but make sure it's not hostile it's not attacking right make it in a way jahan pe aap communicate kar rahe ho irrespective i see a lot of people they shut down kyun kyunki my partner does not understand how i feel or maybe my partner does not understand where am i coming from right to a continue to do the conversation part regardless of how hard the conversation is mm-hmm. continue doing it second you have to make sure people i know a lot of people don't understand but you have to ensure that there is there is this intimacy that's involved in it emotional and physical both which also means that you have to um, get physically active with each other see a lot of times it's not to do with or oh, reaching climax sometimes it's just playing with each other also right so you have to ensure that sex is a part of your routine um and you try different things also and third is don't stop being playful always be playful have this child in you that wants to just be right sometimes in the process of being too mature and too this and too that that too serious never stop being playful always do these little things that are playful in nature that kind of that, that everyone has this quirks and what not right to mm-hmm. so be that eccentric you and always be playful with each other right and it's very important while doing so be respectful that's the most important thing people don't realize that respect is such an important factor mm-hmm. such an important factor because i see a lot of people when they break up they talk trash about their partners yeah and they think just to feel validated mm. so my partner was like this and they trash talk about the partner saying ki acha mujhe validation milega ki acha i moved out of the relationship because of this reason because he was this she was that no respectfully move out maybe things did not work out but that doesn't mean that the person is wrong right you know labeling the other person is wrong and these days the new word toxic uh-huh. is thrown around <laughs> is thrown around like like anything you know it's just dished out so commonly yeah. you start labeling the other people as toxic labeling them wrong and shifting the blame completely to the other person for for the breakup and yes there can be circumstances where maybe the onus actually does lie on the other person 100% but i still feel that even in that 100% there is still a role that you have got to play right. so how does one realize what is their role in whatever wrong is happening in the relationship mm-hmm. if it is not the relationship of their dreams or if the love is not like before and all of that how do you take responsibility and accountability there and you kind of transform your own self for the sake of uh keeping the love alive if that is what you need right so what i'm trying to ask is not shifting just the blame on the outside but taking the compass within Correct. and trying to see is is your your own uh, you know uh, things that that probably you are not so good at so the first thing first and foremost is to start taking accountability in your relationship which also means and th- that only comes with awareness a lot of times we want to put the blame game on the other person saying because of him or her that's how i've become i've become this rude and snooty person because of my partner right i never wanted to be this and never want like you beautifully mentioned that sometimes the onus is completely on the other person but also at the same time that doesn't mean that you are the bottleneck here yeah right but you have to understand that no matter even if the other person is the one to be blamed completely because maybe this person let's say if the person cheated on you or this person is not putting enough effort or maybe this person is not kind of putting his best foot forward to have a good sparkling relationship right in the process your job is to of course talk about it second to do 
or put your hard yards in to get it moving instead of just keeping it stagnant saying ki acha rishta aisa to aisa hi hai let it be so be it so don't get into the sirat you put your 100% whatever needs to be done if relationship really matters to you and your partner both you both will definitely make sure to put the hard yards in to get it rolling you know sometimes we are too blinded by uh shifting the blame to the other person and in fact in that in that blame game we also find support when you talk about what's not going right in your relationship or what is wrong with your partner to your friends you also find support because a your friends are emotionally attached and connected to you correct b not everybody has the maturity to understand both perspectives c even if you know and understand both perspective you still are not the right person because you're not experiencing it you're just listening to it you're at a cognition level at an at an analytical level you are you know understanding what both people are talking but still you're not there to experience it right so so the third party involvement also gives you some sort of a validation ki main sahi kar rahi hu ya kar raha hu the other person is wrong that's called so, triangulation yeah <laughs> so that happens in a lot of relationships and when you start getting validated for you blaming the other person you start feeling you are you are right yeah. you your that that rightness also increases for you in your own head and that goes against your own nature because as pass your relationships are breaking not just with your partner but with others also Correct. but still this i am right and then getting validated externally that yeah yeah you are right the other person is wrong that is also going to so much of your head mm -hmm. that things are uh, completely breaking around you so how do you sort of come out of this is what i essentially want to ask because this is where i feel a lot of people a lot of us feel challenged a lot of us don't want to look in the mirror and see the see the dark picture yeah you know in that case um i agree to certain points but also at the same time i back to differ to a certain degree yeah. reason because so it's usually said that no one understands your relationship as much as you do correct about what you both have seen in your relationship the paths that you've taken the way you've explored life uh the ups and downs everything right whether it's soaring highs and lows all of it you've seen it together all the trials and tribulations but despite all of this it's extremely imperative for you to know that sometimes you don't see what others see everyone comes from their own perspective right for me let's say let's say if for me making fun of me or my work is something which is not acceptable but maybe for you you look at it as banter yeah let's suppose तो फॉर यू इट्स फाइन सी जब तक आपको कोई चीज अफेक्ट नहीं कर जाती इट्स फाइन बट लुक ये बैंटर ऐसे दस लोग के सामने नहीं होना चाहिए जहां पे देन सडन यू स्टार्ट फीलिंग अशेम्ड ऑफ योर वर्क मे बी यू रियलाइज इट्स इट्स it's a derogatory way yeah it's belittling you yeah belittling you it's a derogatory way of addressing you or addressing your work so it is important to draw the line because sometimes agar let's suppose if me as a child if i've seen my parents fighting all the time where my father would abuse my mother physically let's suppose and if i've seen that you know agar maine wo growing years mein maine dekha hai ki chalo aise ho raha hai to when i grow up and when i get into a relationship and when my partner hits me i normalize it because i saw my parents doing it and they were together for 50 years and even after all the abuse they would get back she would you know they would also have these moments of चलो बात कर रहे थिंग्स आर गुड ऑल ऑफ दैट तो इट गेट्स इन टू माई हेड एंड फॉर्म्स अ बिलीव सिस्टम दैट ओ इट्स नॉर्मल एंड इट्स नॉर्मल कि आप उसको सप्रेस करके या उसको अवॉइड करके इग्नोर करके जस्ट गेट बैक टू द पार्टनर डू थिंग्स दैट योर मदर यूज टू डू इट सो समटाइम्स व्हाट हैपेंस व्हाट यू सी आउट देयर इज आल्सो द कंडीशनिंग ऑफ योर चाइल्डहुड इट्स द बिलीव सिस्टम दैट्स बीन फॉर्म्ड इट्स व्हाट यू हैव सीन इन एंड अराउंड यू तो अगर मेरे बिलीफ सिस्टम ऐसी है तो ये तो चीज गलत ही हुई ना वेर माई पार्टनर इज अब्यूजिंग मी एंड इफ आई स्टार्ट टू नॉर्मलाइज इट एंड वेन पीपल अराउंड यू से दैट लुक इट्स नॉट नॉर्मल तो इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट टू हियर पीपल आउट स्पेशली योर फैमिली एंड देर हैव बीन अ रिसर्च ऑल्सो वेर दे से वेन यू डेटिंग सम वन मेक दिस पर्सन मीट योर पेरेंट्स एंड योर वेरी क्लोज फ्रेंड्स such that they understand where this person is coming from because sometimes we overlook because we wearing those rose tinted glasses and we don't realize that oh this person is making fun of me or belittling me and i look at it as just a playful banter but 
it shouldn't be like that every relationship will have problems there will be conflict there will be tantrums there will be some kind of a discomfort there will be a difference of opinion but at the same time no matter aap kitne bhi distinct ho agar aap dono you both come back to each other for love for comfort for compassion knowing that you both are not judging each other and you both are safe space for each other that's what matters that brings me to my next conversation which is about relationships being 50 50 that is one idea that is floating you know ki 50 50 hona chahiye agar usne bartan saaf kiya to tumko khana banana chahiye ya usne ye kiya to tumko wo karna chahiye which is what i feel is a very flawed concept i i, I feel relationships are never 50 50 if i see for the relationship with my mother there are times when she is 80 and i am 20 and there are times when i am 100%. 80 and she is 20 and you said it said it yourself so what are your like i i want to ask from a relationship coach's perspective a therapist perspective what are your thoughts there because when whenever i get into these conversations with with my circle of influence i am i am not in favor of 50 50 mm-hmm. uh, for for anything like is bar tumne pay kiya check ke liye to uske bare mein main karunga you can't be so calculative in relationships okay. and the only relationship we get calculative in is with our partner we don't get so calculated with let's say our friends or even our family our siblings our parents we are all about like let's say give yeah. give give or take yeah. take take yeah. but with our partners we want to just just you know want to walk on this very hard line of 50 50 balance hmm. uh, what are your thoughts there aap kuch bhi kar rahe ho na aapke life mein to sabse pehla sawal aap ye puchhte ho what's in for me hmm business dal rahe ho to aap puchhoge what's in for me aap relationship mein ja rahe ho what's in for me so because we are so self centric that we constantly think about ki if i'm putting my hard yards in the person has to equally or more put the hard yards not necessarily because not every single day you're going to operate on 100 or 80 sometimes you're going to operate on 80 some days you're going to be at 20 and it's about a fair balance where you both understand without having to communicate when you come back home tired you don't have to tell your partner something ki i'm so tired today you look after this or maybe it's like you both understand where you both are coming from and it's a fair balance so i'm saying 50 50 wala situation so even it's a of course you think hota hai hona chahiye it's a no it's a flawed flawed very flawed concept but more than that there are times jab ek din main sara kuch kar rahi but there comes a time jahan pe without me asking to see this again the onus is on your partner also somewhere कि जहाँ पे यू एंड योर पार्टनर यू बोथ हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड ठीक है कि अगर योर पार्टनर हैज डन एवरीथिंग लेट्स टॉक अबाउट फ्रॉम अ डेली योर हाउस ऑन चोज परस्पेक्टिव तो इफ योर पार्टनर हैज डन एवरीथिंग तो तुम्हारी भी एक अंडरस्टैंडिंग होनी चाहिए बिकॉज लेट मी आल्सो बी देर लुक वन आई से शेयरिंग हाउस ऑन चोज और मे बी बिल्स और वट इट्स नॉट दैट यू आर हेल्पिंग योर पार्टनर uh in sharing 50 50 no if anything it shows that you value your partner so you both should come from a space jahan pe what can i do to make my relationship better which also means that you don't have to calculate ki acha today i'm in a mood to cook something or make something or maybe today i'm in a mood to help her or him in something maybe i want to help him in a project but but he's already doing it so let me not do it nahi agar aapko lagta hai aap karo na problem tab aati hai jab conflict ho jata hai jab jhagda ho jata hai to aapko lagta hai ki yaar maine do kadam chale hain to wo bhi do kadam chale ya wo do chalega to hi main do chalungi to aap wo 50 50 wahan pe na bahut dhoondte ho aap bahut negotiate karna chahte ho ki ek relationship ke beech mein ek power dynamics hota hai couple ka aur aapko hamesha lagta hai ki wo thoda mere favor mein hi tweak karna chahiye i should be the one who has either consciously or subconsciously you want to lead yeah. you know ki mere hisab se hona chahiye ya i should not be succumbing dono partners male and female i'm talking about both of them hai na tab ye zyada 50 50 aapka dimag kharab kar deta hai us time pe aur us time pe wo dimag to kharab karta hai ek sath hi sath relationship bhi kharab kar deta hai this all competition with the other person usne kitna kiya maine kitna kiya i think uske beyond hum chale jayenge i think that is where the your your transcending your egos Correct. your individual ego and i think that is the based of every problem in a relationship in mm-hmm. fact in communication that you as a therapist uh, uh, know that communication gap is one of the the major problem that couples have ek the what are the three absolute no goes non negotiables for a relationship when you say non negotiables are very custom made they're very tailor made they're very subjective to person to person basic non negotiables that should be a part of every relationship is a 
having respect in a relationship so it should come in a very come from a very respected space respect is top most kyunki you can be in a room full of people but if you look at that partner of yours and if you don't feel respect towards that person there's no point second non negotiable is communicating with your partner about what irks you what are your trigger points your past has been when i say past which means it could be a childhood also something that bothered you as a child something that has left like a huge mark on you and the third is being truthful and honest to your partner if you love your partner don't don't give that anxiety to your partner saying ki yaar the duniya mein to bahut sare log hai matlab ye nahi to ye sahi commitment is not a weakness if anything it's a sign of strength now see two individual people coming into a relationship now mental health is on a decline as such you know and all of us are battling so many battles within ourselves two people who are coming into a relationship together how do they strike a balance in their mental health and also how do you deal with a partner if they are depressed or if they are not in their their ample of uh, good mental health people don't realize that when i meet someone you're also meeting that like i mentioned you're also meeting your partner's past you're meeting your pa- person's upbringing the person's choices uh, situations that have formed their belief systems you're meeting a person but there is a whole like a gamut of things or a, a or like a whole lot of things that a person has inside so a understand about your partner's a uh, perspective towards life or perspective towards how they like to operate in life and when you understand the person you will also understand that what really triggers my partner what something it's causing problem for my partner right now and if you really care for your relationship you will never do things which will decline your partner's mental health if i know if my partner is has an anxiety issue or someone who gets anxious at a certain degree or because of a certain social setting or maybe when i say something can create a lot of this jitteriness or maybe queasiness inside of him or, or her panic attacks for that panic matter. attack because i know that my partner will start overthinking and over analyzing everything in that case i'm supposed to know where to draw the healthy boundary and not tell him or her things that are not right for her even if it means that it's just for banter don't do it there will be phases because we do have lot of different areas of life and something can affect us so a understand your partner's personality what really works for the partner what doesn't work for the partner and while doing so when you know there are certain trigger points try and refrain uh, you know try and refrain from touching those trigger points all the time and if you did and without your conscious you know uh, effort of wanting to touch it or without your conscious uh you know that that agenda know how to repair it you know in addition to all this ekta i think we should also read psychology and philosophy on a regular basis mm-hmm. that will create a sense of self awareness and when the awareness is within you for your own self that that is when you can kind of extend it to other people as well you can start becoming aware of all the things that you are uh... but i i think here is something i'm sorry to cut you off but then a lot of people think that just reading about it really helps no but reading or being aware of something is just a panacea it's not something which will make you aware but it's not the way to to change something yeah to transformation to transform. absolutely the only thing it's the action that will bring the change it's what you've already collated together that here are the 10 different things that i've learned from different areas and from different i think platforms that acha ye karna chahiye ye karna chahiye relationship mein ye karna chahiye to better a person's mental health or maybe how to have a good thriving relationship if i've learned all of this for me the most important thing is to apply yeah even if it means applying on a very minuscule level do it sometimes you feel ki aapko pura transform ho jana hai nahi ya pura relationship ko transform karna hai at once no maybe take one step at a time baby steps are very important even if you start changing your whole equation for 1% every single day the change goes to 37% like for the whole year yeah and it's very important to do so so try and understand ki even if it means means to change on a very 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 minute level do it 
तो तो ए इट्स इट्स इम्पेरेटिव फॉर यू टू फाइंड दैट स्वीट स्पॉट दैट वर्क फॉर बोथ ऑफ यू दैट वर्क फॉर ईच अदर्स मेंटल हेल्थ ऑल्सो वर यू कॉन्स्टेंटली डू थिंग्स फॉर योर सेल्फ ऑल्सो एज अ रिलेशनशिप कोच वॉट इज योर आइडिया ऑफ चीटिंग how should so, people so, analyze cheating for in a relationship see, i don't think there is any escape route to cheating by the way because cheating can happen on a very on a very micro level mm-hmm. cheating could be as simple as even if you're currently with someone and you're just texting your ex even in a good space that you don't have any emotional attachment with each other there is no romantic angle to it it just that you are being respectful towards each other and you communicating only in terms of whatever just you know just ha- whatever it could be on a very shallow level even that's micro cheating because somewhere it gives a a space of um insecurity for your partner and you don't know this can happen so a lot of people don't understand once you've already built an equation with someone and you broke up with the person you can never go back to being friends with that person people don't understand you can't change uh your feelings for a person suddenly when you know that you were head over heels in love with this person and suddenly after years now that you get back to your ex saying hi hello or even if just texting your partner or texting your ex you think that it's just in a in a good space it's nothing there's no malice there's no personal agenda there is no romance involved in it even mm. that's cheating you can never detach the feelings you had for a person that you dated once your conversations will always revolve around oh you remember this thing you remember what happened you remember how we we what we did at this time so what happens is you don't realize that even after breakup speaking with your ex or chatting with your ex from no emotional standpoint even that is cheating because even that isn't appropriate because some way your conversations will always revolve around there will have a be- big smile on my face while you're saying all this because uh, again like i uh, was saying earlier and like we're discussing everything is like so nuanced that putting a blanket statement over anything in today's time like how do you even draw your boundaries because हर किसी के ना इतने सारे डिवांसेस है कि आप कोई चीज को क्लियर नो नहीं बोल सकते हो आई वुड आल्सो अग्री ऑनेस्टली दैट यू कांट बी friends with your ex yeah, you like are, even if you are in touch with you can be in touch with them you can be uh, for sake friends or yeah. you can even have care for each other all of that but you'll never be friends you'll never share your life you 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 cannot be very emotionally into each other life like friends friends like buddies buddies you will not be buddies but you can you can still be in touch let's suppose you have made your mind and you don't have any emotional attachment with the person let's suppose and even if you happen to meet your ex at a you know after a certain period of time you may not have an emotional attachment but you don't know how the other person is operating right now maybe this person might still have some residual feeling i understand you know even i used to think like this earlier ki yaar aap baat kar rahe ho agla insaan kis tarah se baat kar raha hai aap usko nahi destroy kar sakte ya you know uh, wo uski family mein ye transpire na kare ye equation i understand that yeah. but uski life ki responsibility uski hai na yaar the problem is that there is always some kind of tension between you two in that case reason because you spend like a good amount of time with each other also even after years it's good it's okay to to have that connection but also at the same time you know where to draw the boundary for exactly. you exactly for you you know it chalo theek hai you know it but even if the other person doesn't come from a space maybe he or she still has some residual feeling lingering around and there could be possibility of some kind of that emotional conversation between you two and even if you are so straight upright or and and out on the person's face saying listen but i'm not looking at from an emotional perspective even in that case what happens is there is some kind of a tension that keeps going on it also is about how uh, well along you take the other person in the ecosystem with you mm. like let's say 
if your ex has a current partner you also have a current partner or you don't have or you have parents involved or siblings involved how your ecosystem is also flowing with you if you are yeah. not being dishonest to anybody in your ecosystem right. and even to your own self at a very very that you have to again look within and see where is this this intention of friendship coming from is it coming from some residual yeah. feeling or some residual guilt that yeah. you have yeah. of breaking up or is it really coming from a space where you just want prosperity and happiness for the other person and it is a very difficult space to arrive at i know that because i have experienced it first hand nahi hota yaar aapko feelings wo hota hi hai ki ha ki yaar you see your partner with somebody else so initially you, you get a even if you are with somebody then also yeah. it's kind of gets to you yeah. it's a very human at a human level but if you can transcend beyond that feeling and you're like you know i genuinely wish for prosperity and care because i i wish for abundance in my life i wish for abundance in your life and and it is a very mature plane to arrive at so hmm. i think wo wo touch mein nahi rehna wo basic rule hai uh, to problem hogi nahi Yeah, it take, it does take it because it's it's definitely a gray zone. बहुत mm-hmm. सारे permutation combinations हैं. No, we, that, we are not in that era anymore. Yeah. So but that's the that's the problem. Yeah, तो मतलब मुझे लगता है अगर कहीं ना कहीं से आप एक दूसरे के periphery में हैं और आपने इतने साल गुजारे हैं आपके बहुत सारे common लोग हैं तो कभी आप नाम भी सुनोगे कभी आपको इंसान दिखेगा अभी कुछ आपके पुराने दोस्त हैं उनके कुछ घर में functions हैं कुछ है वहाँ पे आप मिलोगे भी. Yeah, yeah. You happen to do all that, right? So I feel that of course buddies like friendship की भी share a life और भी share ये हुआ वो हुआ वो सब नहीं हो सकता but एक but एक respectful uh uh friendship uh relationship with certain boundaries i i see that as a possibility of keeping yes keeping it completely out not being in touch is is also a great solution because that doesn't put you into any gray zone of course and i think more than that even if you are let's suppose it's important to get your partner's perspective your current partner's yeah, perspective yeah absolutely is very very important so i think of course it's a gray zone but also at the same time not everyone is um i yeah, think as cognizant as maybe you are uh to draw the boundary to understand where the other person is coming from to understand that it's important to have a fair balance and work on yourself but zaruri hai ki it's better to not create any kind of a emotional nuisance yeah in your ecosystem beautiful how much we have you know <laughs> spoken about relationships today ekta you have given your so many insights on on different aspects of a relationship since we are talking about excess and heartbreaks what is the right way to move on and what are the things that you should not do after a heartbreak so first thing you're not supposed to do after a breakup is a not to stalk the person and check what exactly is this person doing second is to start filling your cup which means that you are supposed to do things that fills you up which makes you feel a bit more alive after it because there will there is going to be void there is going to be emptiness there is going to be a space like a vacuum that's been created inside of you and a lot of times in this whole space we end up either getting indulged in um another relationship as a rebound we um but of course rebound relationships are often pretty short lived okay they could be maybe a month or two month and all of it so a lot of people you're not supposed to get into like a rebound relationship that goes on for a couple of months because it's just an escape route is to how do i fill my vacuum and in the process what happens the one you with in terms of a rebound relationship you end up damaging the other person because kahin pe na wo process mein wo dusra insaan aapke sath attach ho jata hai it is important for you to not indulge into any substance because sometimes we get into drinking smoking or just being out there and you know um get into a lot of hookups in order to feel good about yourself so you are not supposed to do any of that after a breakup if anything what i would suggest is number 1 is to get into maybe get into social circle which means no more people if you have good set of circle of friends connect with them you know spend time with them uh spend time with your family with your loved ones in and around you people you that make you feel comfortable about yourself do these things a lot of people say that mujhe kuch mann nahi kar raha then go back to the times when you were feeling good about doing as a child as a child what is it that you really liked doing you love doing so you go back to those activities as a you know as you used to do as a child most importantly don't try to bargain with your ex or with your past relationship saying that kar lenge kuch na kuch kar lenge if you've tried aapne bahut baar hi try kar liya hai ki you know we've put our hard yards in ki humne bahut baar kar liya hai try kar liya hai but things always boil down to us not being aligned to a certain degree 
तो अगर आपको लग रहा है कि नहीं ही काम कर रहा है यू आर नॉट बींग अलाइन टू 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 एनी लेवल एंड यू डोंट सी योर पार्टनर और दिस पर्सन एज अ फ्यूचर पार्टनर एंड इट्स बेटर टू ड्रॉ द बाउंड्री एंड जस्ट कॉल इट ऑफ एंड अदर थिंग इज टू गेट इन टू फिजिकल मूवमेंट यू माइट फील लाइक वॉन्टिंग टू बी यू नो ले ऑन काउच एज मच एज यू कैन बट मूव योर बॉडी मूव योर बॉडी मे बी जस्ट गो आउट फॉर अ वॉक वेन एव यू फील यू आर इन अ रट गो आउट फॉर अ वॉक टॉक टू सम वन गो टू द जे मूव योर बॉडी स्वेट योर सेल्फ बिकॉज दिस एक्चुअली चेंजेस योर ब्रेन केमिकल्स राइट सम ब्यूटिफुल थिंग्स यू सेट देर आई लव द आइडिया ऑफ फिलिंग योर ओन कप बिकॉज आई थिंक आफ्टर ब्रेकअप्स we have a lot of energy time and and you know this window suddenly opens up in our life to do do certain things that we didn't have the time for before mm-hmm. if we care to look at that yeah. side of life yeah. and if we do i think we can create some massive breakthroughs for us in in that space uh, uh, one more thing that i want to add to that list is that don't be shut to the idea of love yeah. when we go through a traumatic breakup we feel that people are bad the world is coming at me the life is happening against me and all of that we start making those belief system that love oh this is i shouldn't be getting into this let me excel in my right. career let me put right. this energy somewhere else do all of that but at the same time in your heart in your mind keep the space for love always yeah. because i feel when when we um, when we make ourselves shut to the idea of love we just become ignorant and uh, sort of not notice so many good things good people around us that we don't let their goodness touch us not just not just as a loving let's say partner or a spouse but just as general human beings this whole part of you that was loving someone and suddenly this person is gone from your life and you don't know how to deal with it you use the same part and that same energy to dislike this person to move away from this person and to shut down this whole idea that a you're not meant for love b you don't think love kind of thing exists or there's anything as good love or there's anything as there's no such thing as good love bad love love is love but you completely shut yourself down from the whole idea of i think pyar aise hi hota hai let me instead not get into it because yeah, compromise to karna hi padta hai hamesha aisa hi hoga aur main to nahi kar sakti hu ya kar sakta hu to fir this is not for me i know a lot of people ask me that what exactly is love i've never experienced love as such but love is when the person actually makes you feel good makes you feel home makes you feel alive in who you are is with you during your highs and lows both and doesn't judge you for who you are respects you for who you are honors you for who you are makes you a better person every single day every morning when he or she wakes up makes you look at all the great things that you made up of and if you're expecting that it's going to be all hunky dory it's see there's always going to be highs and lows but if that partner is by you sailing through those gusto winds and stormy waves of the turbulent relationship or the turbulent times that's what love is Then, so beautiful then, and if you can't see this i'm sorry but you're blind i'm just uh, feeling what you're saying right in my heart you know as as it is that that feeling itself is so gooey and so warm wow. even listening about it uh, is is making me feel so much in love you know um, i i feel uh, love makes you a giver and not just a taker i think if anything it just makes you a giver only yeah. like a like true love makes you a giver love is when you want to see your partner in a good space beautiful we started with love and we ended what love is and we've ended with what love is so we have defined love in so many uh, ways with so many different nuances and aspects of life uh, thank you so much ekta for coming on the journey within podcast sharing uh, from your experience of years of uh, being a mental health professional of being a relationship coach of helping so many people sail through their turbulent relationships uh, thank you Thank you so much for having me and I hope this helps everyone who who is still um in this whole process of understanding how relationship is and what you should do for a better relationship. Yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you. Such a pleasure. Thank you for watching this episode. Mention your favorite parts from the episode in the comment section and also do subscribe to the channel and also to our other channel that is The Journey Within Clips, TJW Clips and uh, we'll see you there. Thank you for watching.